Hello. <laughs> so I just made a 30 minute video that was a little too rambly, but I was basically figuring out what I wanted to say throughout it. And I'm going to compress it now into this. <laughs> um, so the video is basically addressing uh, hiccups I feel in the way I've tried to communicate what, what I've been trying to communicate for the last three years. Um, and I don't feel like they're present in all of my communications because I've tried so many damn different ways of saying it. Um, and they're definitely not present in my books because those were such a exact effort to express things in a very unique way, which couldn't be pinned down into any of the old modes or maps. Um, but they are present in some of the writings I've done. Uh, so the first of those that I identified through rambling <laughs> was um, the difference between what I've been saying and uh, non-duality. And the, the primary difference I identified as in non-duality, they say, there's no you. And what I'm saying is there's a process going on in all of us that we mistake for ourselves and which when it's operating a certain way seems to be ourself. But if it stops operating that way, then we can see that it's not ourself. But that process is, is real. <laughs> it's a real experience. It's a real physical process. And uh, so it's not good enough to say there, there is no you. It's, a, it's too easy, it's a, and it creates confusion for that reason. Um, it, the metaphor I've used before is if you have a glow stick, right? And you have the glow stick and you move it like this really fast, then you can see a circle there. But if you were to slow that movement down, you would just see a series of broken movements that when they're going fast enough or in a certain pattern appears to be a circle. So what you call you is a repetitive process of uh, memory. <laughs> and it's a, basically a, a reflex and that reflex is really there. And the other aspect of non-duality, I think what I'm saying is different from, is that they say, okay, you aren't the glow stick trick. <laughs> you aren't the, the seeming circle, but you are universal consciousness, God, uh, <laughs> bliss. Uh, you are everything, you are the universe, etc. And that's also not what I'm saying, because the impersonal self is an extension of the personal self. And if you identify with whatever you want to call that, if there is anything that they're referring to, the uh, information field, then you're just, it's the same thing, which is operating in a different way. And so what I'm saying is also not, you aren't the universe and you aren't a person, but that doesn't mean there's no you. <laughs> And what I came to as a way to express that is that 
the butterfly is not the same as the caterpillar. The caterpillar doesn't just have to realize that it was always a butterfly. There's a physical mutation and process it has to go through to become that version of itself, that, which is a different being entirely. What relationship is there between the butter butterfly and the caterpillar? And also no two butterflies will ever be alike. No two butterflies will ever uh, sing in exactly the same way or say the same thing, which is evident, right? Because like Alan Watts said, gurus are always uh, calling out other gurus. So uh, my interest isn't in calling out or being a guru. I want to uh, call that out too. <laughs> But what I'm saying isn't a non or an anti guru message. It's not an anti teaching message. It's not an anti Buddhist, anti Hindu, anti this message. It's a, just simply not that. And it's not anti non duality. It's just not that. And if you get the sense I'm not really saying anything, maybe you're getting closer to what I'm saying. Which, if you think it's what I'm saying, then it's not what I'm saying. Because only you can know it, and it will be different for you. No two butterflies fly alike, are alike. And the second thing I identified was that I've used the word enlightenment or awakening or liberation quite often in my posts on Facebook. And um, I, the problem with this is if, ever, if the goal of every religion and mysticism and spiritual practice and all that is a common goal, then it can't be what I'm saying because it leaves no room for pioneers. <laughs> and it leaves no room for individuals. And so what I'm saying is not ever interested in a common goal or a common experience or a common realization. It's not that either. It's not anti-enlightenment. It's not that. <laughs> and that brings us to number three, which is it's also not spiritual. And I don't feel I've left a lot of room in any of my writings, even the Facebook ones, for it to be misconstrued as spiritual, even if I've used words like Buddha, awakening, liberation, Zen, all those terms. I don't feel I've left a lot of room, but I haven't been quite as blunt as I could be, which is to say that it's not spiritual, it's physical. Would you call it a spiritual transformation when a butterfly becomes what it is from the caterpillar? becomes what it was coded and coded by nature to be. It's not, spiritual isn't the right word. <laughs> and also physical can create limiting ideas because when we say physical, you might have some idea that the body is one thing or another, matter is one thing or another, or all these conceptual things, or that your physical is something solid and set in place or unmutable, but that's not it either. And purposely leaving some open ends <laughs> around these statements, because what I'm saying can only be found once you go off the diving board past the open end. 
and it won't be the same pool that I landed in, and you could argue drowned in. <laughs> but something's still kicking and expressing. Um, the caterpillar drowns, right? <laughs> so it's not spiritual. It's not you are universal consciousness. It's not the same goal. It's not any of that. And I'm not saying that what I'm saying is the, the right way, the next step that all those people didn't take or anything ridiculous like that that brings it into this pyramid scheme. Uh, which is part of the reason I'm knocking that stuff off to begin with from what I'm saying, because it always includes the fucking pyramid of better and worse and levels and levels. It's not any of that. If I'm saying anything, it's that it's a possibility for you to realize and see something that nobody else before you has ever realized, ever seen. And that's only that is the true meaning of what it means to be alone. You don't realize that you always have been alone and that you're aloneness. You become alone when you see something that others don't see. And that's not a pyramid statement. Oh, I see this and you don't. I see what I meant to see. You see what you're meant to see. You will. Um, so, if it can't be taught because it's not the same goal, it can't be shared because it's not the same goal, <laughs> it can't be transmitted because it's not a possession, if the self-help people can't help you, if the gurus can't guide you, if the maps only lead you to old territories and are always imperfect, as the purpose of a map is always to knock off other maps that came before it. Um, and so I hope all my maps are self-canceling. Then, what are you left with? 